God. It is a headrest. I mean, what are the chances of freaking headrest dropping out of the sky? That it was all in one piece. Uh, it just came down as a single unit. And it didn't have a screen lock on it. So I opened it up and it was an airplane mode with a travel confirmation and baggage claim for Alaska 1282. Like she said, what are the chances? You just heard from people in Portland, Oregon, finding remains from that Alaska Airlines flight, surprisingly in great condition. Objects like a headrest, a door, and a cell phone falling from the sky. It could have been much worse. Thankfully, no one was hurt. But the terrifying moments when a door flew off midair have a lot of you talking and wondering, what on earth is a door plug? So what exactly is a door plug? You'll find them on most 737 MAX 9 jets. And whether it's a plug or an emergency exit has to do with how many seats are on the plane. There's a federal requirement that there must be enough emergency exits for passengers to evacuate within 90 seconds, even if half the exits are blocked. Some international carriers cram more than 200 seats into their MAX 9s, so they must have extra emergency exits. However, Alaska Airlines and United Airlines configure their 737 MAX 9s to have fewer than 180 seats, so they don't need those extra emergency exits. Both airlines use plugs to cover those exits. Spirit Aerosystems confirmed to the New York Times that it installed the door plugs on the MAX 9s, including the one on this Alaska Airlines flight. A passenger on that Alaska Airlines flight would never know they were sitting next to a door plug. Unlike sitting in an exit row, this is not knowledge that is given out. Simply, if you're walking to your seat and happen to be in this row, it'll look like your average panel with a window. But from the outside, there is this outline of a door. And as a result of the incident, about 170 Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes have been grounded worldwide. The only two major American carriers that use the plane is Alaska Airlines and United. We wanted to find out if this investigation has impacted flights in our area. A spokesperson for the Sacramento International Airport told us four United flights were grounded Saturday, but nothing since.